Hello and welcome to Pennsylvania CPA Journal's Beyond the Copy. Each issue will be here with a different author as they take us beyond the copy, sharing some insight on their article with our audience on the Pennsylvania CPA Journal digital magazine and mobile app. Today we're here with Elizabeth Smith, tax accountant for Whipley LLP and Media. She is also the author of Stop the Clock on Clients, a column from the Spring 2016 Pennsylvania CPA Journal. Elizabeth, thanks for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. For the people who haven't read the column yet, it's about value pricing as an option instead of the billable hour format. Talk about some of the drawbacks for the billable hour, hour format and how it could be improved upon by value pricing. Well, the primary limitation of the billable hour format is the fact that it's measured in hours. So even your most productive employee is limited by the fact that there are only 24 hours in a day. So ironically, the very thing that's supposed to be generating revenue is limiting revenue, and firms are linking infinite pricing potential to the finite resource of time. Value pricing actually improves upon this methodology by linking revenue to service significance as opposed to the clock. And one of the major things that's going on in the industry right now is the idea of, of millennials in the accounting profession and how we need to keep that pipeline, pipeline full. Um, how can this help in that regard? Well, I think millennials are full of new ideas, fresh new ideas, and I think they need the freedom to be able to do their job. Um, there's nothing worse than having an employee that doesn't have that freedom. Think about when you call your cable company or your lecture company and you're looking for customer service and the representative on the other end says, sir, the system's not allowing me to fulfill your request. Well, when client services are identified that add value, but the billable hour budget does not allow for the extension of those services, the system's not allowing staff to fulfill those requests. And if staff retention is the goal, then the system should be set up to support and assist staff, including those new millennials. Now, when these firms think about the idea of adding millennials, to, that, can th that can be a sort of an abstract idea. But one thing that is an abstract is the idea of money. I mean, how can this help the bottom line for these firms? Well, with the value pricing format, firms have the freedom to price their services more carefully and to be more discerning about which clients to keep and which clients really support the long-term vision of the firm. Clients come to us because we have amassed certain skill sets and credentials that they find value in. A client's perceived value for a service might be greater than the billable hour rate. Anyone can sell their time. We're selling expertise, and adjusting for that factor can mean an increase in the bottom line. With all the benefits that, that are possible with the value pricing, why would you think it is that it hasn't been more widely adapted, or in some, in some firms, probably not even considered? Well, the billable hour format has been around for a really long time, and it has, by and large, been effective. Uh, decision makers often operate under the mentality of, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But imagine if society collectively decided to adopt that mentality we'd probably be still riding horses and buggies to work and <laughs> doing tax returns with quill pen and candlelight. <laughs> so the bottom line is if we know that there's an opportunity to improve the system, we owe it to ourselves to investigate. When running a CPA firm, there's so many little details that you have to keep an eye on. It can be difficult to keep an eye on the big picture. One big picture thing you do not want to lose sight of is pricing. And value pricing is an option in that regard. Make sure to check out Elizabeth's column in the Spring 2016 Pennsylvania CPA Journal to learn more. Elizabeth, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me.